I'm Haley from Red Handled Scissors, and I'm a giant fan of having everything in its place. I'm basically kind of like your neighborhood organization fairy, but not necessarily your friendly neighborhood organization fairy. Maybe your cranky neighborhood organization fairy? But anyway, you get the picture. So today, I'm going to put on my organization fairy tiara. Okay, but not literally a tiara because I don't even bother to wear makeup. But we're going to talk about one of my very favorite things to organize, embroidery floss. One of the best ways that I've found to store embroidery floss is the humble floss bobbin. Embroidery floss bobbins are usually made out of paper or plastic, and you can pick them up at most craft stores. DMC also makes this handy floss bobbin winder tool, which really makes the chore of keeping your floss organized easy. The floss bobbin winder tool snaps right on to most floss boxes, so it stays nice and steady while you're using it. To get started, select a skein of embroidery floss and then carefully remove the floss tags. Drape the embroidery floss around the top of something solid. I like to use a big mason jar. And then set that aside. To ensure that you know what your floss color number is in the future, go ahead and take the floss tag and cut it down to size a bit. Then take a bit of scotch tape and position the tag on the bobbin and secure it in place. Next, insert the bobbin into the bobbin winder. Now you're all set to wind the floss. Take the end of the floss and secure it on the bobbin. Then begin winding as Gently guide the floss so that it's evenly distributed across the width of the bobbin. When you get to the end, remove the pin from the bobbin winding tool and finish wrapping that last bit of floss around and tuck it in to the edge on your bobbin. When you're finished, you should have a neatly wound bobbin and the tag will be visible if you pull up a bit on the floss. Now it's all set to be stored in number order with similar colors.
Unless you already obsessively organize your own embroidery floss collection, you're probably wondering why anyone would go to all this trouble just to keep their floss in order. And that's a really fair question. Beyond the happy, satisfied feeling I get from seeing a well-ordered supply box, here are just a few reasons why I keep my floss especially tidy. Fewer tangles means less waste and less frustration. And when you're working with sharp objects, that's safer for everyone. Keeping floss visible and in number order helps you see when you're running low on a favorite color or dye lot before it becomes a problem. Clear labeling makes it easier to keep track of color numbers and dye lots when you're working on a big project. Floss on bobbins can snap onto a binder ring for easy travel crafting. An organized stash takes up less of that valuable shelf space in your sewing studio, craft room, or under bed craft box. If you can see what you have, you're less likely to waste money on buying duplicate supplies. And finally, but possibly most importantly, if you keep your floss organized, it's easy to start stitching right when inspiration hits because you won't need to go looking for supplies or colors. In addition to labeling and putting your floss on bobbins, there are a couple additional tools that I use to make sure that my stitching goes as smoothly as possible. One of my very, very favorite things is this handy DMC floss book. And this one right here happens to have all of the colors of the embroidery floss available from DMC and this is the actual dyed floss. You probably can't see the texture but it isn't printed. You can almost certainly see the the sheen of the actual thread. And that's really nice when I'm looking for very specific colors. And then I can very quickly check in my organized floss containers to see if I have the color available for the project. This actual floss book is a little bit on the pricey side. So there's also this second option, which is the printed color guide which I find to be slightly more difficult as far as matching colors is concerned, but it's definitely more accessible and usually they exist anywhere you can buy embroidery floss. Of course, organizing floss the way I do isn't the only right way to do it. There are endless right ways and as long as it works for you and you can find the supplies that you need when you need them, any way you do it is exactly right.